Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play XCOM. Now we just finished our third mission in Lagos and it was a rather successful mission although I think I got one member of our squad who would have been a pretty good member if he kept his development. Uh, unfortunately he was killed by a lucky shot from a floater and he was wearing a power suit too. Um, I don't know why I still remember this uh, yeah, unfortunate incident but yeah that's a uh, the takeaway from the last episode. A guy got killed, um, but the terror mission was uh, a success, I guess. It was a good rating. And then we even got a couple of live specimens that could be, you know, they could be pretty useful for our research purposes. I think the research um, is chomping at the bit to interview these aliens because it is already logged in the, the soldier and reaper terrorist. And I was thinking about who this this thing or what this thing might be and then it was a that big hawking biped that we were able to stun using the small launcher with the stun bomb. Solo Soldier I think he was one of the last uh, remaining enemy and I think it was a laser shot that kind of stunned him um, and then if the enemy gets um, destroyed or if he gets killed it does make a sound but if it just collapses without making a sound I find most likely it is stunned and if you have an alien containment facility then you'll be able to bring it in for you know job interview or something to contribute to our our uh, work okay so i'm just going to wait for the sky ranger to arrive just uh, checking out the production here laser cannon being produced and also this one as well i think uh, it was destroyed uh, unfortunately so yeah so that's where we are and um I think we need to think about in this episode. Yeah, just like this. We gotta try to intercept the UFOs and then do some. Where is this? Okay, so it is heading our way, I think. So let's try to um, intercept it when it's as close as possible. I wanna send this craft and see whether we can catch up to it. Okay, nope, nope, we can't. Unfortunately, just crossed the United States. Oh, actually, we met at. Okay, just turn back. Right. Okay, so let's do standard attack. Hopefully we can get to it. Um Okay, yeah, definitely we can get to it. Wow, so it really I was like really having a hard time. Um hmm. Can this go actually to Okay. Could be a night mission, which is not good. It could be a night mission. Oh boy. I do not release that. <laughs> night mission is not good, folks. And I don't know how I can delay uh, this. You know, trying to intercept the crash UFO. I don't know how long it's going to stay there till it disappears. Okay, it arrived. Okay, good. So we unloaded aliens, right? Mine probably is going average right now. Um, okay, let's check out the soldiers. We have a lot of these guys who just arrived from Sky Ranger, and um, I think I want to get some rookies in into the crap now. Let's see, it's refilling right now. So, okay. So I think. Gabriel Diaz probably is a bit injured or something. I think he was able to get up on his own, yeah, uh, own ability after a bit of rest on the ground, having his wind knocked out of him due to a uh, floater rocket attack. But I thought he was dead, but um, yeah, he wasn't really that hurt. He was just uh, out of breath and he was able to get up and then move around. I forgot to pick his weapons up. Hopefully he was able to load up all the weapons and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna get Milo Slava and Ella Kylo and Jason Miller did their work. I'm gonna get some rookies in Angel Medina and Sander Tasman. Let's check all these guys first. I think we can, we still have some time to check these guys. And uh, let's check Joel, Joel Nunes. Yeah. Check out these guys first. 39, Angel Medina 39, 
pay 40 so these guys with um, this guy's not really that brave but this guy's pretty brave so i think this guy could gal could um i don't know angel can be i think angel is probably a male name angela is a female name um i guess i can give him some um weapons like heavy weapons let's check the sky ranger equipment here uh rocket launcher is back i like to have um laser tank available but if it doesn't um uh, it's not available by the time that we you know ship out then fine you gotta have to do with the rocket tank once again just have to have a hwp it's going to be it's definitely going to be very nice companion uh, laser rifle maybe eight grenade 12 smoke grenade 12 is i think it's fine proximity grenade eight i'm gonna use um yeah 10 high explosive three okay motion scanner three medikit three electro flare small launcher okay i think i need more bombs uh but i uh, don't think i have it fuel requires eight hours of fueling okay so that's not good all right personal armor yes one more personal armor and who's going to yeah, some of these guys can give the others. Okay. Yeah, we have plenty of uh, personal armor and power suit that could go for these guys. Sender Tasman, I'm gonna give him um, personal armor. I'm gonna give power suit to Angel. Um, and I okay, didn't check Miloslava Krejci? 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 I'm not so sure, sorry. And I include a few more squaddies. Uh, Bo is going to come with me. And maybe Linus also. Yeah, there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Around 10 is going to be good. 10 is okay. And the bow, I think, is a squad, so I'm gonna give him a um, power suit. And yeah, let's go for power suit. Let's go for some personal protection here. And Cruz Cocotes, I think he's a yeah, pretty well experienced guy now. I heard that if you have around five really experienced guys, you're kind of set. I'm not so sure exactly. I don't know whether that's true, but I mean, I'm not really that experience in this game so i might need a bit more experienced guys than five but if you're really good at this game then five i guess psi amplified uh, commandos will be able to just wipe the floor that's going to be pretty cool if i have some psi activated guys too all right so let's check out um, all these guys on the sky ranger now this guy is a um, pretty special guy i think he no, not this guy. Is this a guy who um, stunned the aliens? I think he is. I think he has small launcher. Um, Exagba, yeah, he has small launcher. Kokotis, Parsuit. Okay. Yeah. And. Okay, Mr. Clint. Hijalt. Uh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> I cannot really pronounce this name. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Um, yeah, he's a sniper, basically. Miroslava, I know that this is female name. Um, 69, strength 37, okay. But really less health, so I guess she can probably be long range, heavy weapons person. I think, yeah, you can like, um, you can do this. You can, um, add some descriptions, long range. Maybe this is a bit too long though. I want to just say, Long, heavy. Um, that's H. Yeah, I think this is easier to know. And then I'm gonna... Because I just keep checking them, so I, I, think, I think it's not going to be that... Yeah, it's not going to be that useful just to check them, like, every time, so... And, like, Kylo is, um... She's well-rounded, but she's going to be also 
heavy weapons person. And she is coming with us, right? Yeah, so you can see. How about Mr. Clint? Or Result Clint? Firing accuracy 52, and. Um, okay, so he's going to scout. He's going to have like motion scanners and um, smoke bombs. Cruz Cocotis is a well rounded person, I think. Yeah. So he's going to be just a slot guy. Just going to do. Oh, no. Uh, going to do assault. So I'm just kind of boring from the enemy unknown class system, although I don't really like the class system in enemy unknown because it kind of feels restrictive. But you know, I can borrow from them in terms of uh, classifying these guys because here it's uh, classless and then they just based on skills, which I think I prefer a bit more. Uh, bravery, so he's bravery is 10 and he's going to get really, yeah, so he's going to be a sniper as that. Okay, Joel Nunes, he's a rookie, I think he was involved in a couple of battles, yeah, two missions. His personal armor, not that great in any of this. So he's going to be another scout. Maybe I should say, yeah, SC. This is a really nice feature, Just you can just do whatever you want. You know, give them some nicknames, enclosed in uh, double quotations and stuff. Um, bravery, um, yeah, I kind of have felt rather weird that you cannot give the rookies in Enemy Unknown nicknames, you just have to wait until it's uh, like some corporal or something, I don't know whether that makes any sense, but that's why it was. 78, 65, so he's a sniper. Yeah, he's more suited for sniper role. Or shooter. Sniper and assault is just goes hand in hand because you know I never use those kind of assault, you know, close quarters guys, even in Dragon Alliance 2, so it doesn't really fit my uh, playing style. This guy is also. But he has like low health, so he's not gonna move. And I know that he's a captain because his name is pretty cool. Eduardo Ferrari. Like last name is uh, Italian, but the first name is like Latin American, I guess. I'm not so sure. Uh, or Spanish. Uh, Angel Medina is firing accuracy. He's going to be a scout. Or assault, I think. I just give him assault moniker. Um, you know, I just give him a uh, heavy, heavy roll. Sander Tasman is going to be another heavy or assault. Yeah, he's going to be, um, yeah, maybe heavy. His accuracy is not that great. He's just going to be a bit of a, you know what? Just give him scout because um, his stats are not that great. I mean, his strength is pretty good, but yeah, that's all he has going for it. All right, so these guys are going to be the guy who's going to ship out to our next target. And, uh, and the missile's ready here, and I'm rebuilding workshop. So maybe I can sell some alien equipment, alien corpses. And um, I, just, I just leave three. I don't know why, but I just want to leave three just in case. I need to make use of it or some countries make uh, offers or something. I don't think they do it just like in uh, Enemy Unknown, but who knows? I mean, what's going to happen? So maybe they're going to be an important resource. So we gained a whole lot of, um, not really a whole lot, but we have a lot of pistol clips here. I can probably sell them and bankroll uh, some of our other projects. Alien grenade, okay. So we have another small launcher, I think, or is it? Yeah, I guess we have another small launcher, but we don't have stun grenade. And uh, let's see if I can sell something here. Okay. We have some navigation power source. Yeah. Don't think we have a lot of different things. Probably, maybe I should buy more advanced missiles. Okay, so 
Yeah, we didn't get a lot of stuff from there. We have two mine pros. Yes, so. And let's uh, purchase. How many scientists do we have? 60. This has three more. Five more. Um, three more. I think we are almost. Um, we are going into the red after we purchase the service of these guys. I think we need to keep expanding though. And then uh, that's going to maybe at least force me to do something about uh, be more aggressive in my uh, playing style. Uh, we need to wait, I guess, until... Yeah, okay, so it's refilling, but I need to wait, I guess. I don't know how much I can wait though. Hopefully it's a day. Yeah, hopefully at least it's going to last a day. Sky Ranger still refilling. Okay, all right. I heard that if you um, send these guys... I don't know whether this is going to be useful, but at least when it's getting targeted by something, then it's not going to disappear, so maybe I should do that. Try to patrol it. And wait for the Sky Ranger to arrive. Oh, no, no, no. Intercept and... Intercept. Yeah. Just keep targeting the site. And if you can control this on top of the UFO. Is it ready now? Refilling. Right. Yeah, so let's see. Whether we are all ready. Okay, so two large rocket, five laser pistol, grenade, 12, medikit, three. Maybe the sky is also going to be our um, medic. Uh, maybe not. They're going to be front lines, so I don't think they'll be doing some medical work. Are they ready now? Really? Yeah, so the day is arriving, hopefully it still remains. And I heard that aliens might try to attack our base. They're going to send retribution missions, retaliation missions rather. Okay, yeah, Skyrim just ready, let's go. Yeah, just in time for the day to arrive and this guy can maybe... Yeah. Just stay there for a while and hopefully it's not going to disappear and this is coast of Georgia I think or South Carolina I'm not so sure maybe Florida okay so hopefully we're gonna keep Americans happy I can actually see the cities now Dallas, Chicago, Washington okay let's begin um, exercise caution. So, I can see now that he's uh, going to be scout. Wow, we have some heavy plasma too that we didn't unload. Or we just try to bring, but then, um, yeah. I guess you cannot really use it because it's still considered an artifact. We gotta research it before we can use it. And this guy's going to scout, so yeah, he's ready to do some scouting. And Zagba is going to be a sniper, he says, but. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe he's just keep... Oh, he's a sniper. He has a laser rifle, but also going to be... He has enough strength to carry this around. Going to be another assault. Um, can I change his name? No, I can't. Alright. Yeah, so... I agree with that. Scouting. Okay, so yeah, I did give this guy some scouting equipment even before. And yeah, heavy too, because I realized that Miroslava um, is a pretty strong person. This is all the cannon. So I'm gonna load this HP and also smoke bomb. Bow is going to be, yeah, I'm going to unload this just in case. I don't want um, any of these guys to be um, sigh affected and then start 
going crazy, panicking and shooting everything. I think loading probably gonna take up a lot of TUs, but yeah, I think that's a risk I have to take. Niner Sniper, February is Assault, another Heavy, Angel Medina, yeah, don't like AP that much. Whether have um, HP and Incendiary, but I only have, um, yeah, I have a lot of AP for some reason. Um, okay. Standard Tasman. Yeah, once again. Yeah, only AP, wow. Sure, why not? Um, John Nunes. Scout. Yeah, we are back to beginning. So, anything I forgot? Um, everybody has the. Everybody has the medikit, Linus, and um, Banefo, Banefo. I think one more guy could carry the... Is this guy strong or what? Not really. Is Bobo pretty strong? I guess he, he is. Linus and Ferrari, Medina. Tasman. Okay. This bravery is really bad. Alright. I'm at Joel. 30. Okay, Joel. Alright. Okay. Alright, I think we are right in the middle of the map, which is. Oh, we actually see the alien. Okay, where is this guy? Oh, green dude. Oh wow, it's a green dude now. I mean, who that might be? A green dude. Um, I mean, these aliens are pretty colorful. I can, you know, definitely, I have to give them that. They definitely have a sense of um, color coding. He's gonna die, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, this guy, yeah, this guy is from the intro. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, even sure like he was shooting up the civilians. Finally, he makes an appearance. First, with a lot of weapons. A lot of heavy weapons. Okay, let's see. Alright, so Apple Orchard. I think Georgia is famous for peach. I don't know about South Carolina. Um, yeah, I make this kind of comment when I'm kind of nervous. So I hope I hope you excuse me. <laughs> Please excuse me for my stupid comment and my stuttering. I do stutter a lot, especially when I'm a bit kind of I don't know, a bit nervous, I guess. This is the tank. Gotta be very careful here. Hopefully. Uh, Yeah, I have to see what's behind this, but uh, what happened? Oh, this guy carried a heavy plasma too. I can definitely tell because um, if you look at this guy and then um, the rest of the equipment, I think, is right here. I didn't realize it, but I think everything's kind of piled up here at the base of the ramp. And if you go there, you really have to see the exact same heavy plasma. I can definitely tell it. Um, so this guy also is going to head down here and then uh, hopefully not going to get shot in a reaction fire. Crouch down. Step by step. Oh, okay. Another one. How did he? How did that guy? They're really um stealthy. They do not make any noise. Okay, so let's begin with this thing. And then let's do aim shot pretty carefully. Okay, now they make noise. So he was stunned. 
first time he was just stunned because um because there was no sound with death throws or whatever the second time when i uh you know gave him another meal of rocket he makes a death sound <laughs> Need to be very careful here. Um, he's got a pretty strong. Uh, one rocket is not able to kill him. So that is pretty crazy. Now we are going into some uh, heavy enemies or heavy heavies. Enemy heavies. So who's this guy? Miloslava. Alright, Miloslava. You're next. Was pretty bad management of TU. That, okay, so four cells. I think it was Miroslava and the tank. Very careful. See some outlying structures. Nothing inside here. Like a stable. Alright, let's turn here and let's just continue. Alien craft is right there, so I need to be very careful. Once again, I'm gonna throw a. and grenade and then I'll throw it next turn perhaps. Yeah, I need to throw next turn. And the reaction shot is going to be ready, hopefully. I don't really see anybody coming from that side. I need to need to make sure though. Okay. Sniper, get ready. I don't really see I don't really hear any uh, alien craft door opening and closing. Right now I see a lot of activities. Eight cells down. Two. This is the tank. This is two guys. Two of our guys. Just move. I see a lot of activity. To activate it. Okay. Very helpful reminder that it is active. Eight cells and two. Okay, this is not cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. I guess probably within the Sky Ranger. Perhaps. All right. Boy. Pretty quiet so far. But the alien craft is right here, so. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because the alien had like. A day worth of um, time to move around and then explore. So, I mean, they're all out, I think, right? Out and about. To stay close, I think. I'm not going to move too far ahead. Oh no! Okay, damn it. I was, I was too surprised. I'm sorry if I uh, scared you. Okay. So there's a guy who was camping. <sighs> Alright. Oh, the wall. Also, come here. Yeah, heavy. She's a heavy. Yeah, I wasn't able to see who was uh, shooting at me, but. guys so far so they're kind of camping and uh, trying to snipe can you yeah you can make your way down there and then after the smoke 
is cleared. I can try to set up ambush from this angle, probably from the Sky Ranger as well. And then get the tank to support these guys as they move closer to the UFO, perhaps. There's a lot of cover here, so I can probably make use of it if I feel bold. Okay. Okay, so I need to find out where this guy is. I think I can just try to move. And then support these guys instead. Okay. It uh, missed, fortunately. But uh, this guy's scout. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, snapshot and then you can come back, right? Once again. Seven snapshot, auto shot, or oh, auto shot. Okay, auto shot could be pretty cool. Snapshot first. Okay. You go there? Yeah. Go there and then have a shot. ambush this guy okay get the <sighs> we get at least two shots yeah, they're really strong they're really strong i okay, need to bring some other guy out i think finally yeah so we are right now Facing up with uh, some heavy, heavy guys. Oh, don't kill me, guys, please. This moment. from there good oh come on one more good made a mess of our cover though That guy's really close, okay. A lot of crappy things are happening, folks. A lot of crappy things are happening. Uh, <laughs> so these guys are a handful. Forty-nine. Reload. I'm not ready. I should brought more guys out. can shoot from here. No. Too late. 
Yep. Gotta shoot. Snip shot. Gotta make it work. No. Come on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Who you're really? Oh, damn it. Um. Man. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be in a good place the next turn. Angel Medina, can you go down here and shoot? No shot. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of smoke, but... Man, somebody's gonna die, unfortunately. Actually... Okay, I don't know why um, he wasn't able to see us, but... It's a boon for us. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, go with Snapshot first. Okay. Ready. Good. Good job. Oh boy, yeah, I don't know why the alien wasn't able to see us. Maybe because of smoke. But if you're really lucky. It's a small UFO crap, but I don't know how many enemy there is. Need to be very careful here. Um, and then I think I tried to screen myself using these little trees. I right, see another one. Another shot. Is it possible? I guess I'd try because I have some. Um... Wait. Oh, he's dead. Ah, oh, gosh. Darn it. Yeah, the reaction shot is pretty bad. One more and then I'm gonna take cover and he's dead. Good. Too bad about that guy dying. Um, Minus whoever here. Yeah, there's been casualties. And you also come down here. But we want to have some plasma, you know, as a equipment to sell. This guy is really good. I think I like try to bring this guy down to maybe. Get some stun going, possible. Okay, we have five rockets left. Not going to stray too far. Yeah, so I think every one, every one of these aliens is out because I don't see anybody uh, using the craft door. So maybe some of these guys are situated here, trying to ambush us. I'm gonna use the tank to have a look. Okay. All right, so where did they shoot from? Can I see, please? Okay, all right. It's right there. Okay, and then he already did a reaction shot and this thing is not hurt yet. That's really cool. I guess it's kind of resistant. Not so sure. So I'm gonna have a shot and then try to stun him. Okay, 26. Come back. Uh, Shot and then. Alright, he's stunned. Good job. Gonna. Man, okay. Didn't have to use the rocket here. This guy might get up though, so. Have a look. 
over here. Right. And this guy will traverse. Not too close. I don't want to get like. Yeah, uh, we destroyed everything here. I remember there was like a full of orchard and apples. I will you. Just gone. Maybe, maybe try to spread out a bit. I'm not so sure. But thankfully, the enemy doesn't have any rockets. Um, the floater had rockets that could have been disastrous uh, if it was able to get our guys. Um, okay, I think so far it's okay. Alright, great. Yeah, so that was all there is to it. And then we have a new um, live alien recovery, so... Um, yeah, two of them actually. So um, that's it's kind of weird because I didn't really realize that I stunned two of them, but maybe I didn't kill all of them. But you know, live aliens recovering is pretty good. And then if this keeps up, then I'll be able to maybe get some research bonus or something. That's what enemy unknown provides when you interrogate live specimens. Five, and uh, we have four aliens killed. I don't know who they are exactly. But then we didn't get to recover a lot of alloys or whatever. It just. Maybe they were just there to retaliate. Yeah, just a pure retaliating uh, soldiers out to get us. And we need some stun bomb and um, ammo. Okay, so yeah, Scout is dead, unfortunately. Yeah, Scout means, you know, I mean, Scout means that these are the soldiers who may not qualify for other classes. So, I mean, they're not really dead. Um, I mean, I said to say, they're not that talented enough to get the heavy uh, or uh, sniping rolls or even assault rolls. But you know, sniper and uh, scouts are going to be very important. And then I'm going to designate them as such. Although they'll be kind of disposable, I'm sorry to say. Um, but I can maybe diversify a bit and then give them a medic um, moniker or medic class. Just checking monthly cost, and you can see that now we are in the red because I hired scientists and engineers so we have to think about oh we're almost at the end of the month so maybe i should probably wait until then oh and it's complete good news and then let's produce some um i don't know whether i can produce these yeah i can only produce one more about the personal armor all right so i can produce a bit of this uh, i'm gonna maybe produce two right now and then and then it's going to... Yeah, alright, 21 days left. 2 days left. Okay, yeah, I think we are due for some kind of a boon in terms of funding. So I'm gonna wait until the end of the month, or even you know, after the personal armor is completed, then I'm gonna complete the laser cannon to be sold. Alright, so let's check out the guys who we captured. And the research is going average right now, average pace. We can have a look here, see uh, who we captured. Oh, so they're mutants. All right, so they're mutants. Yeah, the introductory enemy or monster, or alien, is muton. And we have a mutant soldier amidst us. Now it's getting a bit full. We have like three or four. Oh, we have a navigator too? My gosh. Wow, this is awesome. Maybe we uh, stun them across. Uh, UFO um, chassis or structure or casing. Um, yeah, we have a navigator, which means um, there's something special. I don't know, like, that we might be able to glean something special. That's what I heard. That's what I read. <laughs> um, so pretty exciting times, yeah, definitely. Just wait until the end of the month, hopefully nothing really bad happens. No terror missions or anything like that. Yeah. I guess I need to hire one more soldier because I just want to make sure that I keep up with the soldiers here. Kind of, if I lose one, then I'm gonna add like two. Lose three, I'm gonna add six or four. So 20... June has like 30 days, right? I think so. Oh my gosh. Alright, so it's large, very high south speed. So it's large size, altitude very high, heading south, and it is, uh, we can probably intercept it. 
Yeah, almost at the end of month too, my gosh. We're almost ready to celebrate our successful month after a long while. Uh, but now we're going to try to intercept and hopefully it's a large one, so... Okay. Um, no, I'm gonna probably use two interceptors, maybe. And if you don't get to intercept, then I think it counts against you because it counts towards alien activity. I don't know how much of a deficit it is. I think they're looking for us. Okay, heading to Brazil. Yeah, the alien nation. We're gonna return to base. So I'm gonna patrol with one on Cuba. Just in case if it makes its way across the... Bay of Mexico, I think. Okay, oh, mine probe is completed. That's cool. Oh wow, it's a really interesting uh, crystal ball looking kind of thing. The mind probe is an alien communication device which is used to take information directly from brainwaves. X community can use this device in combat to display an alien's characteristics. Click on the mind probe and the use option, then click on an alien with the cursor. Okay, so it's kind of a elaborate way to win a mind of an alien. If it works, then fine. Okay, so let's see if I can. Which should I go for? I think I'm gonna go for the. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the navigator first. Or maybe floater. I think it's not going to be too. I don't think it's gonna take too long, right? So this guy, the floater was the first soldier that we captured, so we're going to go for that. And. Uh, Alright, let's come back. Yeah, really quick. Um, yeah, let's check out our guys who might have gotten some upgrades. Yeah, so I'm gonna name all this. I'm gonna probably do this um, next time. I give them all the classes so it's easier to keep track. Yeah, I'm pretty happy that we were able to um, get a UFO and then be the new enemy. It was being a bit um, worrying in terms of UFO interception. Alright, so can I... No, there's not enough space. I think I'm building an extra workshop though, so... Okay, personal armor complete, and now I'm going to just go full on laser cannon to be sold. Yeah, so June is almost over. I think we started in January. And I uh, really want to set up a new base if I reach like $8 million. I think we have enough funds then in order to make it work. Alright, these guys came in. I'm gonna check them maybe next episode. Oh, wow, it's merely okay. I think the alien uh, activity in terms of UFO, the amount of UFO I missed, um... Okay, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I thought the UK was joining the alien faction, which is <laughs> not going to be very good. Um, so these guys are pretty happy, and then as you can see, Nigeria is the uh, area or the country where we went to defeat the aliens against their terror attacks. And I don't know about Egypt, but they're pretty happy, so maybe they'll be even more happy when I move to the base there, maybe in the next month. Uh, so I'm just chugging along with the negative 400 ratings, just merely okay monthly uh, ratings. But uh, yeah, I think I think it was okay. It wasn't too bad. I lost like one guy against some mutants, but at least I know what the mutants are made of and what they look like. Um, excellent progress right now. Maybe I should wait until these guys are done. I'm really curious about the floaters and other enemies or the results of the research into captured aliens. Okay, the base is a bit too quiet. Four hours for laser cannon. Next up is going to be uh, maybe a stun grenade, I think. Stun bomb, yeah, stun bomb and... 
Heavy laser. Laser cannon complete. New production. I'm gonna bake some stun bombs. Requires Illyrium. Oh, wow. Requires Illyrium. Right. Wow. So that's why it is. That's why it is. I mean, I realized that stun bomb is very valuable uh, because he was able to just not only stun one alien just in front of us, but behind that UFO or inside the UFO rather. And um, now I realize that it really is a very important part of our arsenal. Yeah, and then its range, the stun bomb range is pretty big too, and it, it flies really long taking out like multiple enemies i mean it is something uh, that is going to be very important for my kind of playing style really um and it requires hilarium too so yeah that is going to be something i have to really watch out for um let's just go for laser cannon then yeah laser cannon and then um just another 10 is going to be okay for selling Maybe I'm gonna sell. Um, well, I'm gonna probably change it. Not sell it, just make two. I'm gonna equip the. Maybe one, yeah, I'm gonna equip the. I'm gonna equip one, one interceptor with the laser cannon. I want to make heavy laser. Two, just one. I'm just interested gonna take three days but then I can probably um, add other guys all right so I'm just waiting for the research into the floaters research is going excellent so okay finally view report oh look how sad he looks all right um, the floaters are primary soldiers and terror agents they are naturally predatory beasts genetically engineered and cybernetically enhanced to make formidable warriors the lower half of the body and most internal organs are surgically removed and a life support system is installed. The implant contains an anti-gravity unit which enables the creature to float, albeit unsteadily, through the air. So what did I get in terms of um, alien origins? Oh, cool. All right. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what alien origins would do, but I think it seems to be some kind of a secret to the aliens. I mean, they're all colorful. They're all colorful bunch. Yeah, it's uh, really cool. Nice. Alright, so let's um, just go all in. Maybe laser. And then uh, after this, I'm going to. Maybe I should produce two. I have one. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Only one, and then I'm um, going to go all in laser cannons. And then in terms of research, I think I'm going to go for. Alien origin seems to be rather like kind of a catch-all research into the aliens. So if I, for example, research Reaper Terrorist, then it's also going to add to the alien origins credit toward this research. Um, the floater disappeared. Maybe he's dead. Maybe he turned into a floater corpse. I think I'm gonna go for. Let's see. I think heavy plasma clip is going to require Illyrium too. So it's not going to be that um, useful right now because I have no Illyrium right now. So it's not going to be that practical right now. So I'm just going to go for... Um, is there plasma cannon? I need to probably search for plasma cannon um, tech tree. Right now I'm just going to for flying suit yeah just, just flying suit i'm interested in any uh, personal protection tech so going to go for flying suit and then see what it gives us um in fly yeah so it's pretty cool i mean we have researched floater and then um i know that floater is flying around it gave a bit of fit so maybe the flying suit is going to give us that advantage too all right so um I've yet to sell this, so maybe the next thing is going to be selling this and then um, trying to found a new base near Europe. Yeah, so um, once again, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned.
Alright, so we are back in Enemy Unknown. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. New recruits? Oh, I never... Well, I guess, um, yeah, because a new month and then scientist bonus happened somewhere where I got the satellite going. I guess it'd be nice to have fast research. But the research has been pretty fast so far. Don't have any problems with research, it's just that I don't, I don't have enough money and um, engineers to build stuff. Yeah, I guess I need to go for precision lasers next. It requires 10 days. And we have something called skeleton suit, which is um, reduced uh, weight. So maybe able to allow us... Actually, oh wow, okay, so it allows you to climb using grapple. That's pretty cool, so you can go to the higher places, uh, maybe for snipers. Although, I don't think I have any snipers who can make use of the higher ground skill. Well, let's wait until Thin Man Autos is over. Maybe it's going to give us some research credit toward the precision laser or some plasma or whatever they were using. I think they were using plasma. And yeah, right now, uh, I guess we have some rifles, but I don't think we can build it. Um, yeah, alloys. So for to get alloys, we need to get more UFOs. UFOs. And another one. Let's see. Uh, UFOs and terror missions, I don't think it really get you any alloys. Just some alien parts. And some gratitude from the adjoining factions or nations. Uh, uplink. Yeah, I need to need to build uplink. Um, but then it requires a generator to build. Okay. I was like wondering whether we can just build it and then activate it later, but no, you can't. Yeah. So I need to wait until the power generator is built. And I need to build it here. Yeah, so I think it's going to come down to whether we can do our next mission safely or successfully. Okay, autopsy is complete. So what is this thin man, the bane of my existence about? The subject's external appearance is that of a Caucasian male. Caucasian, huh? Uh, never even thought of that, uh, looking at this guy's faces. Um, guess it's age to be approximately 35 years old, although it's quite likely this is an artificial effect intentionally affixed by the aliens. The specimen is roughly 2 meters in height and weighs just over 80 kilograms. Unique organ and bone structure. Bones are segmented like the vertebrae of a serpent. Okay, so these guys are probably the not direct comparison per se, but they're kind of related to the snake man from Open XCOM or UFO Defense. Uh, spectacular range of motion. Yeah, I definitely agree. They have just tremendous amount of range of uh, movement. A large portion of the specimen's thoracic cavity is devoted to enormous glands capable of producing a toxin that is then expelled via duct with considerable force. Okay, so poison. Yeah, they do poison us whenever they find us under like some kind of heavy cover. That's why this is really bad because the cover really doesn't work at all. Dr. Shen is working to develop a means to integrate this substance into existing medicate. Cool. Hopefully it comes uh, without any uh, particular upgrades or some money that we have to invest in. Uh, targeting another example of this specimen in the field using the unit analysis view may reveal further details. Yeah, so there's something called unit analysis view. I never tried it before, but I should try it, definitely. Alright, so what is next for us? It's going to be... Well, I mean, do I need to research this? Uh, I think precision laser is going to be next, because um, we are benefiting the most from the... I mean, we have the most amount of snipers too. See if I can sell something here. Okay, so we can sell sectoid corpses, but I think we can just sell them wholesale whenever we need the money or we need the simoleons. I call them simoleons because it really resembles the currency unit found in Sims. It's pretty interesting how they use the same kind of symbol. Okay, so again, abductions. Yes, out of three. Commander. We've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Oh, wow, okay. It's not bad, actually. It's a difficult mission. Not very difficult. 
All right, so Nigeria, Paris, scientists, no, not really. Um, I think I need to go to Japan for money. Yeah, I need the money. It's all about the money. Okay, so I need to still promote Lupin and Jalo. Uh, crap. So what should I choose? Um, come first, a second reaction shot. I think I should choose heat ammo. Yeah. I haven't really faced mechanical foes yet, but if they appear, then I think we'll be very much in dire need of some heat ammo to get over that. And he's a pretty good aim too, so Overwatch seems to be not that great use of his aim. Maybe it is, but I mean, he's going to be like spending a whole lot of ammo too, so yeah, I don't think he's that type of soldier. So let's see, Executioner or Opportunist? Eliminate the aim, penalty, and reaction shots, and those reaction shots to cause critical hits. Or, come first, plus 10 aim against targets with less than 50% health. And plus aim. She's already at 101 aim. Um, come first, plus 10 aim. Less than 50% health. I guess I can do one or the other. So Johansson, I'm gonna give her opportunist for, well, let me just see. Johansson is, she's about to upgrade herself. I think she's going to be better in terms of aim. So yeah, I think she might need all the help that she can get and I think this also applies to her laser pistol so it's going to be pretty good because uh, laser pistol definitely can work against the enemies in shoulder range all right miss yay let's see what you have here okay aggression or tactical sense I think defense is um, the name of the game here yeah very defensive play I'm right now doing okay so we got couple of snipers here I don't think I need all of them so let's clear these guys and then add Zhang uh, he's finally back and Boroto yeah Boroto's back Boroto welcome back let's see if I can give you some good uh, medical kit oh okay so he needs all the stuff yeah okay get it okay good good and um, I think the sniper lady's got all the stuff so <laughs> need to take the thing off yeah all right so just temporary temporary thing okay who got the medical kit she has a medical kit yeah okay i think now she's going to have a nanofiber and Boruto. Oh, yeah, you're gonna get this. Uh, nano fiber, okay. Um, 16, Medikit. I think he could do with the. Yeah, he's all patched up, so he can probably use a grenade now. How about you? Two grenades, okay. Wow, alright, you need a Capcus armor. Yeah. And he is at 14. Okay, I think that's decent. Decent enough. Um, and how about you? So who needs this? Okay, yeah. I was forgetting about this guy. Looks pretty cool, yeah, pretty cool. So everybody's ready to go, right? Interesting. All right, so Capra's armor definitely changes his uh, look, although I can't really customize it. Abilities. Okay, that's nice. Also, her somewhere, if you get really bravely wounded, like this guy was, Jang, then you actually lose some part of your will. Um, yeah, which is pretty bad. I mean, but then, I mean, it's better than just losing the guy outright. Okay, so let's go to Japan. Let's get some money. This guy has, um, yeah, these guys are two heavies, um, two crack grenades, or three, and some rockets. 
Nanofiber vest, medikit. Okay. Nanofiber vest. Yeah, I guess it's gonna work. I hope. Maybe I should give her the nanofiber vest too, but I don't think I have enough. Oh, I do have extra. Uh, Medikit could come in handy. I'm not so sure. Does she need Medikit? Not so sure. Uh, but it's going to be good to have uh, extra on hand. So, alright, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's check Sapporo, which is like northern we Japan. I wonder if there's going to be snowed in or something. Or to, to Japan for the next mission. To Metropolis or to the city. Indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. Major metropolitan get area. Any what kind of city is in Sapporo? The big one. Is it Nagano or something? I'm not so sure. Or is it just Sapporo? Yeah, Sapporo is probably the city. I think there was like an Olympics or something held there. This is Big Sky. Okay. Is yeah, I don't really like this map. Just... Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. Yep, I have no choice. Um, Cyclops, yeah, you need to. Let's see what you can find. I've got a visual. Oh my god. Floaters. Oh boy. Missed. At least we can take care of this pod before anything gets out of hand, right? Right? <laughs> uh, run and gun here. And uh, get to better cover, I guess. Alright, Zang. Thirty-seven. How about Boruto? No, this guy. The other guy. Oh, here we move. Okay, how about you? Sixty-one. I think we need to move somewhere, though. I don't think I can finish you right away. So this guy's a pretty good shot. I know it. Um, can run pretty fast too. If I can get both of these guys in view. 21? Okay. Even better. 68? I tried. Okay. That's good. Very good. Very good. And uh, we can now try to ambush this guy somewhere. I don't know where he is. Pistol might work in this case. And you go over here, and then pistol. Yeah. All right, let's see some Overwatch action here. Land some shots, please. Was hiding in the truck. I can see that. Is he going to shoot? No. They're trying to pull back. Oh, actually. Yes, Oh wow, good job. Oh my goodness, mutants. Where are they? Oh my goodness, I just brought them, aggroed them. But thankfully, thankfully it's our turn. Um, so 10 HP. Can probably try to suppress them or... Um, you know, these guys, uh, for your big size, they're very slippery. And you can definitely take really good advantage of the cover yeah, I did throw some grenades here get both of them I don't think so. Maybe I should buy a rocket or something. Shredder rocket, okay. You just read about some of these things. Fire rocket that causes all enemies to hit to take 33% damage. 
from all sources, all sorts of things. Uh, get it better. Alright. But now. Jello, what about you? Destroy the cover. I think that's going to be good. To finish off um, at least one of these guys. 98. Alright, I think we'll be able to do it. Um, but first, I think. Let me see if I can. I think she can finish this guy off. Please. Good job. See you now. And 47. Yeah, it's not that good. How about snipers? 81. Wow, I can do that. Good job. Good job. I have to take the shot. Okay, so let's reload, guys. I am ready. ready to I think the pod is not going to appear soon. So we kill the mutons and we kill the floaters. Overwatch using the sniper. Sounds like another floater. Although I'm not too sure. And this guy can move a whole lot. That's amazing. Yeah, just going to do overwatch and then creep cover from cover don't try too much i think i am on reload and loaded. have a look here to go. Reload. Let's rock. Okay, past the truck. What was that? Oh, they disappear anyways. Yeah. So they do have a sort of, sort of um I guess some kind of a patrol or pathway that they take Missed. and then they saw us. I don't know the range of their the view, but yeah, need to cover the flanks. Uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, I see two of them, All right? 98, sure, go for it. Yeah, he's at a point where no he's very reliably able to hit these guys. Pretty happy about that, that's for sure. Overwatch and Zhang is going to do some. I think maybe she can shoot or Overwatch Cyclops. Can you hit? Nope, this guy has to move up. Uh, does this guy have grenade or what? The I think he does have grenades, so maybe I should move him. Not really close to each other. Okay, so um, Solo can come here. And Johansson, I really think that maybe could Overwatch. And also Overwatch. Yeah, so both might get hit. Oh. Wow, good job. Good job. Okay, so it's not over yet. Yeah, the pistol upgrade definitely working. Pretty happy about that. Let's do this. Okay. Need to reload laser rifle but not laser pistol. So at least a bit of a holdover from the original game. Okay, now this guy can move. I'm too um, scared to move this guy. I don't know why. I mean, he has probably the most HP out of all of us. 
mutant deceased. So mutants were taken care of pretty quickly by the rocket and the some good shots, like sniper shots, for example. Gas station. More floaters, perhaps. And see nothing. Maybe Yuansen can go over there and then provide some shots, provided that we get to reveal some of these guys. And this guy, can you open the door here? I don't think so. Yeah, it's blocked. Yeah. Go back there and then, uh, Pistol and Overwatch. From what was that? The other side of the, the other side of the gas station. Okay, didn't reveal anybody. That's good. You also can go here and then set up. And Zen can can stay, I think. This guy could go here and set up. Be a pretty good perch. Jalo is going to stay back, and she's going to watch her flank. Yeah, use this pistol to overwatch. That's helpful. Now you can move. Yeah, so this is like creeping toward the enemy. I think this is a bit of an exploit because um, because I think this is like the only way to try to battle one pod at a time and I think it's really important to do it especially at higher difficulties like classical mode and maybe uh, impulsive mode but it's kind of gaming the system in a way so I think what XCOM 2 and I think even in this game too uh, what this game tries to do in order to prevent that from happening or trying to force us to be more active or aggressive is of course the tournament the tournament definitely forces us to adopt a more aggressive stance and you know create all kinds of havoc what was that sound yeah, i think i might have to move this guy And put the sniper there. And I want her to also get some experience. Any... I think now BCA can join us. So Heavy is going to take charge, or maybe Boruto might still have a, yeah. Can you see anybody? No. Just want to get everybody over watching. If I can help it, it's going to create a whole like firestorm of uh, 
destruction here if you're not too careful. What yeah, so they're moving sound? around here. Um, so let's see if I can get Zhang to find these guys. Not yet. I think Johansson. Yeah, still has a shot. Okay, now they come up. Now they find us. And. What? Okay. I guess we can get the jump on them. It's not this one. Sniper rifle now. Five. You too. Okay. I think she can move here without triggering the pod. Okay, let's see what happens. These guys will. Yeah, okay. So we got to jump on them. It's kind of a stealth, right? Ambush? Yeah, we're there this time. Also there too. And what is this? Okay, so what is happening right now? Okay, good, good. Good work, Commander. Yeah, so that was the first ambush that we were able to do. Um, and we were able to do it by, you know, just careful placement and then creeping our soldiers up to for the target. Pretty cool. Yeah, so... Um, Nobody got lost, nobody even got their armor scratched. And uh, I think we are really lucky this time. Um, and then, you know, you can see how Zhang is so important to the main part of our crew. Yeah, definitely Zhang did a lot of work um, throwing the grenades and um, being the stable force that he was before he got gravely wounded. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Great job. Okay, yeah, so some upgrades, and this time I'm going to do an opportunist here. Her aim is just one better than um, the other sniper lady. Yeah, okay. More variety, I guess. Jello. Okay, wow. Alright, so um, another choice to be done. Um, for this one, I'm going to do danger zone here. Danger zone. <laughs> because um, he's a more control and suppression type of heavy and I think it's going to help him because he's going to increase the not only the suppression but also the rocket attack yeah going to be more effective although he missed out on the shredder rocket but suppressing more than one enemy is going to be very helpful yeah by two tiles Maybe if the enemies are kind of bunched up together, then it's going to be helpful. But I don't know whether they really do it. Sometimes they do, like uh, sectoids, I find them to be kind of bunched up sometimes. Even thin men. Well, thin men kind of spreads out, so there's really no way for me to suppress every one of them, but uh, I think this is going to help him anyways. I mean, there might be some enemies that are kind of bunched up together. And Corporal Ye also being uh, promoted, her promotion is pretty fast. And without a doubt, it's going to be lightning reflexes. Lightning reflexes I find to be very, very helpful in moving around and then evading their... Yeah, so panic increases across the rest of the globe except for Asia. Um, yeah, I found it to be very great when the enemy does their own uh, overwatch. Remember, we and you got watching. some really good money, so let's see if I can upgrade some of these. Rapid recovery is very is going to be very important. 25% experience gain from kills. Wow. You can buy both of these. Iron Will. Larger will bonus each time they're promoted. Don't die on me. Uh, more likely to be critically wounded. Yeah, it's going to be really bad if I lose the guy of stature like Zhang or Boruto. New guy, okay, so new guy is actually pretty cool, yeah, just comes ready and able, ready to fight. Okay, um, 
Let's see if I can get 25% experience gain from kills. Just one rapid progress here and then rest of it I, I can put toward uh, making some facilities. Two days left for trying to build a power generator and I think more days left until we can get the Nexus ready. Uh, yeah, let's see the situation room. Yep, yep, yep. So Nigeria is pretty bad off. I think this is going to be um, three countries in Africa. Africa gives you some kind of money bonus, which is going to be very good. I think we really need to keep Africa together. Oh, Arc Thors. Yeah, I don't have any. So this is a like second request. Dubanaza is back. Expedition complete. complete. Great. Let's build power generator. Or oh, thermal generator. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. 200. Generate supply plus 20 power, but must be built over steam vents. Great. Eight days remaining, and after that, it's going to remain another eight days, perhaps. I think we should be prepared with some satellites. Let's see how many satellites we have. We have one. We have none. Commander, we can build one. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellites. Twenty deployments. days. Okay. If I can get two of them at the same time, I wanna sell some things here. Um Power source, I like to keep at least one. 67 was the cost, right? Okay. Let's build two. How about building weapons? Oh, you parse 20. Okay, how about the razor um, I don't know what the laser sniper is going to cost but I think it's gonna cost more than more than rifle I guess I need to build two satellites commander our current satellite uplink facilities yeah, are at full capacity. I think you told me that already we should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments if I get enough uh, money after this then you can build a nexus as quick as possible and then send two satellites contact UFO contact oh my goodness so it's going to UFO mission huh right okay so who should I send avalanche missiles yeah we have no choice medium size and this is another opportunity for us to get the alien live specimen aliens but I don't have the arc store so to alert. Please go down, please, please. Good. That was pretty easy. Alright, let's send the uh, Sky Ranger and maybe I can get some of these guys out. Let's see if I can change her. Trying to get more experience though. Let's see if I can change her to Dubanaza or Vandenberg. He's an assault too, right? Yeah, so let's get some easy... Well, I don't know whether it's going to be easy or not, but hopefully this is going to give him um, another upgrade skill for assault. Also, this seems to be deck of all trains kind of guy. Um, let me see if I can have a look at... Vandenberg and see her stat. 75, pretty decent. And yeah, I guess it'd be nice if I can also upgrade her. Um, I guess I can get this guy off our team. Maybe. How hard is it going to be? I'm not so sure. 
Could be pretty hard. Could be pretty hard. Um, maybe I should get Jalo off and then Vandenberg in. Nah. Nah, I gotta bring him. Yeah. Nine plus four, help unit. Ten plus four, nine plus four. Four plus six. Four, huh? Yeah, so he, I don't know, I think he lost some health. 4 plus 6, huh? 71. Okay. 75. Okay. 49 will. And her HP is 6, so I guess it's not. I think it's normal. Yeah. The Banaza is going to come with us. 4 plus 6, 56. Aim is 71. Abilities just run and gun. Everybody's ready to go? Yeah, I think that they're all packed. Vanaza, I think, is carrying a, Dropship has arrived. a grenade. Our target site is near the German border. Oh, it's a night operation. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Okay, so second mission, hopefully it goes as well as the first one. Crash UFO, so... I guess the enemy number is not Got going to be that high. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Approaching okay, so we can now. expect the... Uh, Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike 1 is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Site, I think it's just... It's ahead of us. I don't know why I did that. That was pretty stupid. Okay. Itobanaza could... Or Boruto. need more support guy It'd be nice if we can get some support Here. I hear floaters Floaters. Okay. Big ledge where we heard the sound from. Maybe they're gonna come around. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I hunker down. Just did it. Yeah, they're moving pretty fast using their rockets. See if I can creep up against them like the last time. Hey. You 
hear that? That is definitely Muton. We need to get away from that. Oh boy, okay. Don't see anybody. I think the Mutons are also traveling around. Up to no good. What, what are they looking for in Germany, all of all countries? Yeah, so we just, I think they passed us by the folders. At least we are in a pretty good position in terms of protection, I guess. Kind of high cover and yeah, I think it's pretty decent. But there could be some flanking going on. So, what was that sound? Definitely from the left side now. We prepared. I think you can come back here just in case if this guy appears from that direction. waiting game. I don't know whether this is this actually makes for a good LP. <laughs> wow, they're like trying to I don't yeah, think they're going everywhere. Now oh, they found us. At least we get the opportunist overwatch going. Adjusting Hopefully sites. lens. Good job. Yeah, so I think that was a bubble shot. And just concentrate on that part, everybody. Or oh, to squad side, please. Oops, no squad side available. My gosh. Gotta be prepared. I see. I see one. 51. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Good riddance. Good riddance indeed. Good job. Okay, so the floater scout is done. And now, mutants. Okay, I hear both mutants and floaters. Not nice. They sound like they smell. Okay, so let's see if I can go there. So slowly set up our guys once again. This time we're gonna pick a direction and just stick with it. The Manaza is in uh, the pickle here. Okay. Needs to reload more than anything. Jones can here. Yeah, I think we are going generally in the right direction. It's like a big ledge here. 
I have to see it. Overwatch this whole area. I think it should Locked and loaded. look. Okay, so that just could be a bit problematic in terms of target acquisition. If there's an enemy just on top of the ledge, then I don't know whether it's going to really work for us, whether the game is going to have a bit of a fit. Finishing. Adieu. Here. Cyclops. Right. Good. Nobody's there. On top. Oh, we can dash. He's going to... Yeah, just have a peek over the ledge. Right. Yeah, it's coming definitely from there. You hear that? Flanked if he's not careful. Load. Ready to engage. And I think you're gonna have to stay foot for now. I guess mutants really gonna move a lot. Okay. Enemy in sight. Okay. Three, three floats. So no flanking going on right now, except for this guy is a bit of pickle. Squad side available, using the sniper weapon. Headshot 62, how about this one? Only this guy? Okay, try it. No. I guess he can go all the way up there, hopefully it doesn't trigger on the pod or anything like that, and throw a grenade. Alright, can you get all three? Nope, only two. Fine. Frank out! Alright. This guy's a good shooter. I always mention that. Run and gun or no, this is actually heavy. Where's our Where's our run and gun guy? Can I shoot from there? Yes. Very good with a laser pistol. And six damage, okay. Maybe I should do that. The bananas are running gone, hopefully. Move firing position. Uh, maybe trigger. Trigger on the pod it is. Nope. 71. Good job. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. 69, sure I take the chance. 
unfortunate. I think I'm gonna throw a grenade. Yeah. Just wanna... I just Order. wanna make sure that I leave anything to chance. And... Uh, Mutons are very close. Yeah, they're very close. Alright, I need to get everybody ready to fire. Just get these guys Back next. The pod might be triggered. Very close by, I think. Okay. What's making that noise? Just up ahead. So I need to prepare by setting this guy here. There. This guy could up here reload we're green to go yeah good to go and if this guy will uh, overwatch and then be the first one to move next the banaza is going to stay reload. we're green to go They're moving, yeah, they're moving um, slowly, but purely. Oh, I think I made a mistake. Yeah, made a mistake there. Oops, another mistake. Cannot really make mistakes like that. I heard something moving. Yeah, so they're coming. Oh. This is where the UFO is. Yeah, so they're carrying something like plasma pistol or something, and uh, they're. Uh, I don't think we are alone out here. Yeah. I didn't even see anything, so. I have to overwatch some of these guys. I think this is possible, overwatching this angle. I mean, I'm on the higher ground, so... Overwatch. And overwatch. And overwatch over here, I guess. So, the enemy knows that we are here, but we haven't seen them yet. But now we see them, and this is opportunist. Probably get him. Yeah, wow. Down. Overwatch, not compromised in any way. The second one, I think. Missed, I think. Target's still up. Yeah. Maybe Graze? I'm not so sure. Oh, it was a complete miss. And still. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should just get this. Get your ones into another Overwatch. It's been very effective. Definitely. Another Overwatch here. Man, I guess I try to use this guy to flank. Oh, just saw him, but uh, missed him once again. So, Overwatch could be effective. I'm not so sure. This guy could use a better cover, so I'm gonna move him there. The Zane once again be the fulcrum of our offense or defense. Yeah, so this opportunist is going to also be short work with this Newton. Nine critical. Wow. Just trying for uh, art four. He's 
Oh, all right. How do you get him? Good job. Yeah, Sniper's getting all the experience. I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing. Hopefully Dubana is also getting some nice... Yeah, hopefully he also gets some nice experience point. Executioner, oh okay that's why. So it kind of worked in synergy because she brought the HP all the way down to 1 and then because of that she had an extra chance to hit even though it was uh, overwatch. Needs to reload. I am ready. Back in. Yeah, and I think she also needs to reload. Reloaded. Right, everybody reload. I'm ready. This guy could overwatch. Right. So two piles of floaters, one pile of mutons. I think maybe we are ready to head into the UFO. This guy stayed together with Zan. Let's see. Yeah, within the UFO. What's making that noise? I think it's that navigator unit or something. I think it's going to be revealed in time. And uh, I think the game is kind of uh, losing its patience with me. Not trying to capture the any of these units. I mean, the Muton was prime for some you know, arc throwing, but you know, unfortunately, I have yet to build an alien containment. Maybe I should do that right now after this. If I get some more um, alloys or some mutons we can sell. There's a big entryway. Roto can maybe. Yeah, he can make it all the way there. Hopefully, there'll be no pod ambushing or hiding. We have a couple of rockets left. Although, I, I'm kind of not really too sure if I should ro use rockets because it's definitely going to decrease the amount of stuff that we can get. if I can find something here inside. Nothing so far. Okay. If I can hear and have a look. Most of these aliens I find to not stay inside that much. They're just moving around, roaming. Except for one unit that we always find within the sanctum of this craft. Snipers, get ready. Okay, opportunist works with laser pistol too. Nice. Miss anything? Nope. Photo has a lot of uh, movement. With skeleton suit, I think that's what it's called. I think he's going to have even more movement points to use. Going to be pretty interesting whether he's going to be the guy who's going to capture aliens using the uh, arc floor. going to be medic anyway so yeah maybe laser pistol is going to be used from the from now on to the end of the mission yeah definitely inside I heard something moving yeah that's the I think Illyrian captain Go loud. yeah five HP thankfully we have the upper hand here Run and gun, and then uh, we're going to try to flank it. I think this is going to be it. Yeah, hopefully... Um, there's an extra hand here. Yeah, so these guys will try to kill it. 
95 percent okay let me see if i can finish using dubanaza he needs some um experience points after all good job commander the right. operation was a success on a successful mission i guess i'm getting the hang of it or game is kind of giving me a break or something after just horrendous month of uh yeah, just crazy abductions, very difficult, very difficult missions and terror attacks. It's like a kind of laid back month, May laid back month. Um, I don't mind it. I mean, I was like always like irritated, like to begin with, you know, enemy unknown, but now I'm just kind I of getting. I can't say I've ever seen an operation go that smoothly. Excellent work, Commander. Like I'm really uh, sailing along for some reason. Yeah, so like a. Hope he got the yeah he got the promotion so I'm going to yeah go with defense once again. Ten percent chance for enemy inside. Yeah, I think I might go. I mean, if he uses the shotgun, maybe this is going to be alright. But it's going to be some while before I get to use one of those. I think it's called scatter laser close quarters laser weapon so um, I may have just go with this and then stay safe he did a pretty good job though his aim is pretty decent 76 and 60 definitely better than um, the A Brot also got one wow this is amazing so he's now rubbing shoulders with Zhang here smoke grenades have increased area effect then further increased unit defense fight 20 sounds good to me combat drugs smoke grenades now contain powerful stimulants that grant plus 20 will and plus 10% critical chance for your units in the cloud. I'd be tempted to use this one if this said 10% uh, aim chance but just critical so I'm going to go with dense smoke. Yeah. I should change this name to Smokey or something now. Okay yeah so we are just racking up kills and getting some experience and uh, another guy got promoted. Maybe the next time it's going to be a heavy. Uh, Vandenberg. So we got some damaged goods here which can be sold pretty safely and some corpse and yeah we are now day five five days away from precision laser that's cool let's sell all these i think it says it's safe to be sold yes and i'm gonna sell all this it's going to be how much then 175 is going to be enough to build let me see. Complete train session here and then see whether we have some options. Let's see if we can build satellite uplink. 150, yeah, I think you can build it just about. And also we need to build alien containment. Oh 85, okay. Um Okay, so I'm gonna build alien containment. No Nexus uplink first and then sell more at the great market and try to squeeze in the alien containment. Gonna come down to uh, Maybe I should build alien containment first and then get enough money to build set it uplink. Um Laboratory here, power generator can link. Yeah, I think I need to build the alien containment here. But it's going to come in five days or so, or seven days. Okay. Yeah, so uh, two successful missions and our guys are now back fully running. A lot of guys got promoted and um, frankly, yeah, they're doing pretty well. And then yeah, the sniper, their new abilities are pretty engaging and pretty useful, pretty effective. Especially with Johansson doing some good overwatch. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, please stay tuned.